Now let me discuss about some more non-catecholamines. The other non-catecholamines they are the alpha 2 agonists. I have given you the examples of alpha 1 agonists which are used as nasal decongestants. Now let me tell you about the alpha 2 agonists. We have two important alpha 2 agonists which are clonidine and methyl dopa. So clonidine and as well as methyl dopa these are alpha 2 agonists and remember this particular methyl dopa it is your prodrug right it is a prodrug now this clonidine and alpha methyl dopa right this is actually alpha methyl dopa which is a prodrug they are alpha 2 agonists where are they used remember they are used in the treatment of hypertension right they are the mechanism is they are centrally acting sympatholytic drugs in that way they are used in the treatment of hypertension they are antihypertensive drugs now you take this clonidine clonidine as such it is used in the treatment of hypertension and let me tell you the other uses of clonidine remember the other uses of clonidine it includes it is used for control of diarrhea right it is used for the control of diarrhea in diabetic patients right in diabetic patients for the control of diarrhea this particular clonidine is used all right and and why does this diabetic patients will develop diarrhea is that is because of autonomic neuropathy all right so that is because of the autonomic neuropathy they will develop this diarrhea so remember to control diarrhea in diabetic patients with autonomic neuropathy this clonidine is used now apart from that this clonidine is also used in the prophylaxis of migraine so in the prophylaxis of migraine this clonidine is used next now this particular clonidine remember it can be used in the management of the withdrawal symptoms right withdrawal symptoms of alcohol withdrawal symptoms of nicotine withdrawal symptoms of opioids we use this particular clonidine okay so it is used in the management of withdrawal symptoms so withdrawal symptoms of which all withdrawal symptoms alcohol withdrawal symptoms nicotine with withdrawal symptoms right and apart from this nicotine even the opioid withdrawal symptoms okay so in the management of the withdrawal symptoms of alcohol nicotine and as well as opioids we use this clonidine now remember clonidine it is given in combination with opioids right the route of administration there it is epidural route of administration so whenever you combine clonidine with opioids epidurally they are useful for relieving the pain okay so this particular clonidine when it is given epidurally right when it is given epidurally in combination with opioids right in combination with opioids that is useful for the relief of pain right that is useful for the relief of pain okay next lastly the clonidine it is used for the treatment of ADHD right ADHD it stands for attention deficit hyperactive disorder right ADHD it stands for attention deficit hyperactive disorder and this particular clonidine 
it is used in case of ADHD as monotherapy right it is used as either monotherapy or it is given in combination with other drugs right or it is given in combination with other drugs right so these are all the uses of clonidine the prime use of this clonidine is by having alpha 2 agonistic activity it is used in the treatment of hypertension and it is also used in the treatment of diarrhea in diabetic patients with autonomic neuropathy right and this particular clonidine is used in the prophylaxis of the migraine in the treatment of the withdrawal symptoms of alcohol nicotine and opioids clonidine is used and this particular clonidine in combination with opioids when it is given epidurally it is used to reduce the pain of the individual and it is also used for the treatment of attention deficit hyperactive disorder that is it is used as monotherapy or combination to other drugs all right next next let me tell you some more alpha 2 agonists right we have few more alpha 2 agonists and this particular alpha 2 agonists they include apraclonidine and as well as brimonidine so apraclonidine and as well as brimonidine so if you take these two drugs that is apraclonidine and as well as brimonidine remember apraclonidine and as well as brimonidine these are right these are selective alpha 2 agonists right they act only on the alpha 2 receptors and where are they used remember these drugs they are used in the treatment of glaucoma right they are used in the treatment of glaucoma so remember this point apraclonidine and as well as brimoridine they are selective alpha 2 agonists which are used in the treatment of glaucoma next next we have one central alpha 2 agonist right we have one central alpha 2 agonist and that particular central alpha 2 agonist is that is called as dexmeditomidin that is dex m right that is another central alpha 2 agonist which is dex meditomidin where is this used remember it is used for pre anesthetic medication right it is used for pre anesthetic medication okay now now this particular dex meditomidin it is also indicated for sedation of initially intubated and mechanically ventilated patients during treatment in icu right so where is this used this is also used for sedation in mechanically ventilated patients in icu okay right so point what you should remember it is it is a central alpha 2 agonist it is used as pre anesthetic medication and it is also indicated for sedation of initially intubated and mechanically ventilated patients during treatment in icu next apart from this there are some more alpha 2 agonists right and those include guanfacin right we have what is called as guanfacin right guanfacin and as well as guanabens right guanabens so guanfacin and as well as guanabens both of them they are the alpha 2 agonists right they are alpha 2 agonists 
their action is similar to that of clonidine right remember both of them they are alpha 2 agonists their action is similar to clonidine but they are rarely used right they are rarely used so that is about your guanfacin and as well as guanabins now we have one more drug which is called as tizanidine tizanidine it is used as the muscle relaxant right tizanidine it is used as muscle relaxant okay that is about your tizanidine okay now let me shortly revise about the alpha 2 agonists we have two important alpha 2 agonists that is clonidine and methyl dopa they are used in the treatment of hypertension and you take methyl dopa this is a pro drug next if you take clonidine it is used for the control of diarrhea in diabetic patients with neuropathy for the prophylaxis of migraine and treatment of withdrawal symptoms of alcohol nicotine and opioids and epidurally it is given in in combination with opioids to reduce the pain and for the treatment of attention deficit hyperactive disorder either as monotherapy or in combination with other drugs and we have two more alpha 2 agonists that is epraclonidine and as well as brimonidine they are selective alpha 2 agonists they are useful in the treatment of glaucoma and we have a central alpha 2 agonist which is called dexmedetomidin it is used as a pre anesthetic medication and it is also used as sedation in mechanically ventilated patients in icu and we have two more alpha 2 agonists that is guanfacin and as well as guanabens their action is almost similar to that of clonidine but these are the drugs which are rarely used now and we have another drug which is called tizanidine tizanidine it is a muscle relaxant all right so this is completely about some of your alpha 2 agonists which are non catecholamines